Hi, thanks for watching to this video. And in this video, I'll show you step by step how you can create your own multiple choice quiz with question banks in Articulate Storyline. Hi, I'm Mark Spamon from Upward Online Learning, where I teach you how you can create e learning modules yourself with Articulate Storyline. And are you new here? Then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification icon so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. Are you ready? Then let's get started. Now let's see how you can create a multiple choice quiz in Articulate Storyline. Now you can have two different types of questions in Articulate Storyline in your quiz. Free form questions or graded questions. And in this example, I choose graded questions in my multiple choice quiz. I already did some preparations in Storyline. Here you see my scene that will be become the quiz. And there is a starting slide. And here I have my question scene. And there is now one question in it. So the next step that I want to take is to create a question bank. So I'll go to question bank, click on create question bank and give it the proper name. For instance, the subject of the questions. So here, uh, and this is an example, compliance questions. So I click on OK and now I have my question bank. And why do I create a question bank in Articulate Storyline? Now, if I want to alter my quiz in the future, I want to add more questions or I want to remove some questions, it's easy to do this in a question bank. Uh, you can uh, easily import questions or have questions not being drawn from your question bank. So that's the reason that I create a question bank for my multiple choice quiz. So in this question bank, I, I can do two things. I can create new questions, a graded question or a survey question, or I can import questions that are already in my project. Now in my preparations, I already created a question. So let, let's import this question into my question bank. So I'll click here in the link on the import. And now I can choose which uh, slide or which question I want to import. So this question I want to import and I want to move it to my question bank. You can also copy it to your question bank. I'd like to move it, import from story, and I click on OK. And now you'll see that the multiple choice question is here. And if I go to story view, the question scene is empty now. So I've imported it to my question bank. So let's add another question to my question bank. And herefore, I'll go to graded questions. Now I can create a blank question but I use already the Serenity team for uh, Articulate Storyline. So I could also choose from the questions that in are, are in the Serenity team. So now for instance, let's add the drag and drop question. So I will select it and click on insert slide. And now Storyline has added the drag and drop question and you could uh, change the contents of it. So let's add a blank question now. So I go to graded question. Here I uncheck Serenity you see now my building graded questions are visible again. And let's uh, uh, choose a true false question. And I click on insert slide. So when you see Storyline created the true or false question now. So I can give this a question. And so I enter the question. Is this a true or false, quest false question? And the answer is true. And you see here, I've, uh, I have the standard feedback. That's right. And that's incorrect. Let's go back to our question bank. And now I have three questions in it. So let's copy this question and paste it. Copy this question and paste it. And copy this question and paste it. So I have uh, six questions in it right now. And now let's enter the question is in my quiz scene. So what I'll do now, I'll click on story view and go to my quiz scene by double clicking on it. And what I do now, I'll go to slides and I'll go to question banks and I choose here new draw from question bank. And I choose here my compliance questions. Um, and now I will, will include all questions and I will then I draw them questions randomly. And I click on insert. Storyline creates a placeholder where it shows the questions from the question bank. I could also enter the questions directly in my quiz scene, but then I don't have the option to randomize them. So I have my introduction slide, I have the question slide, and now let's enter my results slide. So on the slide step, I click on results. Now I can choose a blank result slide or even uh, a result slide from the standard Storyline 360 teams. So let's add this one 
and click on insert storyline now edit my result slide to my quiz scene and it opens the result slides properties so it says calculate the results for selected questions and for which questions do storyline has to calculate the results for all the questions that are in my question bank which passing score should it be uh, 80 percent but i want will will have it on 75 i do not have a timer on my quiz so i click on ok and what you now see is the base layer of the question bank a success layer with a passing score and my score and a failure layer with a passing score and my score and the success layer and failure layer are triggered by the points so you see here the success layer trigger and the failure layer trigger and on the base layer of my result slides you have three different uh, buttons a button to review review the quiz to print the results and to retry the quiz so if i go to the trigger to review the quiz you see it here and i double click on it i have some options so the action is to review the results and what i can do is i can show all the questions so the correct and incorrect responses or i can uh, only show the incorrect responses to a student so if i check this now a student, when he is reviewing the quiz, will only see his incorrect questions. So I can click on OK. So this option is to print the results. And this option is to retry the quiz when I, I failed it. And what Storyline does, he resets the, the status and you can do the quiz or, or from the beginning again. And if you want to change the properties of your result slide, for instance, the passing score, uh, click the base layer of your result slides and go to the design top. And here you can, for instance, change the passing score, set the, the, the timed quiz, add a review, a print or a retry try button, set the, use, set the user score in text or a passing score. So you can create your own result slide if you uh, choose to add a blank slide. Now, let's look at this quiz when we are going to preview it. So now I'm in my preview modus in Articulate Storyline. So let's click on the next button and the first uh, question is shown so this is true and I click on OK so correct and here I don't know if it's, it's incorrect I see that I have the the feedback enabled for the different types of uh, questions so that's not really the case when you have a quiz so let's change that so I go back to my question bank by double clicking on it and now I'm in my question bank click on form view for a question the storyline will show form view and now you can set the feedback for none here so it will now show no feedback and you can do this for all questions so let's do a second one I set this also to none and I set the attempts to one because in the in the quiz you want want one attempt and I'll do it now for the other questions and we can preview the quiz again so now let's preview my quiz scene. So I'll go to preview and click on this scene. Storyline automatically generates my preview for me right now. You see my preview. So I say click start next. And this I will give it the correct answer, a drag and drop question, a false answer, an answer, another drag and drop question. And you see here, I did not pass. The passing score is 75% and my score was 50%. So what I can do now, I can print, me, print my results, review my quiz or retry the quiz. So this is how you can set up a multiple choice quiz in Articulate Storyline. If you want to build your Articulate Storyline skills, then make sure you get my free step-by-step -step guide on how to create engaging e-learning in Articulate Storyline in less time. And I will know for sure it will help you because it shows you my exact process that I'll use for every e-learning module that I built in Articulate Storyline. You can, you can find my free guide on upwardonlinelearning.com slash free guide. And if this video was useful to you, then hit the like button below. And don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel by clicking subscribe and clicking the bell notification icon so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos that I publish every Thursday on YouTube. Thanks for watching and have a great day.